Hello, welcome to my video. So today I reinstalled a motherboard. I got an old one out and put a used one in because I suspected the motherboard was being faulty as I needed to boot twice to get it the login screen. And sometimes in the BIOS, it took me a long time until the mouse did not lag, probably about five minutes until I could actually move things around on the screen. So what I've done here, I've just taken off the sides of my computer. Next is to take the screws out for the graphics card and the sound card and the PCIe. So I've unplugged the power from the, the power supply to the graphics card and taken that out. And with sound card it's just a straight direct into PCIe so I just pull that one out after I've unscrewed it. And now I'm going to take the RAM out so I've unclipped and taken them out one by one. I've remembered the order for them, so I know uh, which way to put them in when I put the new motherboard in. Now I'm just going to unplug the 24 pin power supply and the CPU power supply. Move the cables to the side and I'm plugging all the front panel ports. And next is the SATA cables. And now I'm taking the heatsink off, so I've got a water cooler closed loop system and I've got to unscrew the connector here. So move that out of the way and then I'm going to use some um, isopropyl injection wipes just to wipe off the old thermal paste. I'm carefully going to take the processor out. And I'm going to put it down somewhere upside down so the contacts don't touch anything or don't get any debris on because I don't want that not to work when I put it in the new motherboard. So I'm handling it by the side. I'm using all my fingers to touch the side only, minimise any contact. Now I'm going to undo the motherboard standoff screws so I can actually lift the motherboard out of the place. Uh, just one screw remaining, that's why I lifted it, just to check where the old screw is. And the old motherboard out. Put the new I.O. shield in. Uh, remember to put that in before you put any motherboard in. Tube it up a bit. Back that. And a new motherboard in. I'm just screwing in the motherboard. I think one screw at the bottom was hard to get in. And I used the same screws as the old motherboard, but it didn't work, so I used a different screw and it fit in. Sometimes these things happen. And now it's time to get the processor in. So I lift it up, just checking no dust in the, any of the pins. Uh, place the processor in, make sure it's in line with the tabs on the side. Once you're happy with placement, close the latch and I'm going to apply some thermal paste. So with thermal paste, less is better than more. So other than five dots, so four dots and then one in the middle. And try and keep off the edges because you don't want any going down the side. So I'll push down the old heatsink. 
into position. I've I managed to get a book underneath so the the base on the other side I can actually screw it in. And I got a book on the other side to lift it up so they, that they poke through the holes. And then I, I was managed to put the screws now in for the heat sink. Now I'm just tightening it up. And there's a kind of a satisfying like squelching sound when you press down the heat sink onto the processor. And now it's time for the ROM, so I'm putting it in the same positions as last time. And now I'm going to put back all my cables, so all my fans, the power supply, the main power supply, the CPU power supply. Um, even the I.O. ports, but they're a bit fiddly and it took me quite a while to get them back in. So I had to get the manual up and all that, so that's not shown here. But yeah, I managed to get all the fans in. And uh, putting the SATA cables in now. And now it's time for the graphics card. So yeah, press it down, you're going to hear a click. We'll screw it in so it doesn't, so there's a bit of support so it doesn't like droop down. And that puts a bit of pressure on the motherboard so you don't want that support screwing the back side. And again, with my sound card, so I'll put it in the bottom position first, but I think that would obstruct airflow. So I found a PCIe on the top, put it in the top support, screwed it in, and then finishing touch, put the power in the graphics card. That's it. Only took me about three hours.